It's time for Inktober day number two and I've got um, a brand new sheet for people to enjoy. Um, it's called Doodlebug number two. So the, the magic word for, uh, the ins inspiration word, the prompt word for Inktober for today is wisp. So um, today the idea is to take this um, basic drawing here and add a pile of hair, jewellery, crown, headdress, whatever. It can be completely and utterly abstract. And uh, you can draw whatever you want to fill in around there and you can even draw into the face as well if you want to. So I've called this doodlebug sheet coiffure. So let's have a look at this. Let's get this, switch the camera around. So I'm just going to have a play with doodling on this one. You can see the outline of the faces here. Maybe I'll, I'm just using a different pen today. This is a um, Millennium pigment pen. I'm just going to do some dark eyes in there just to really emphasise the beautiful eyes just to get started with. But you can do whatever you want with yours. So um, I'm going to uh, maybe give her some hair. The, the word of the day is wisp. So give her some lovely hair here. Maybe it's going to come all the way down. So if you're an, a, a beginner artist, you can just have some fun with doodling here. Uh, I'm going to pretend that her hair hair's always bigger than the actual head, so that's okay, I'll just do a bit of an outline here. Maybe, um, as a beginner, you can just have a bit of a play with doing some doodling on here. So you can just do patterns all through here if you want to. Just any sort of Zentangle um, patterns that you want to do across any of these areas, and it can kind of be flat and 2D. You could give her a tiara or you can give her a crown. Maybe there's a big headdress coming up here. There could be flowers in her hair. I have no idea what's going to come out of this. And that's the fun with creativity and doodling. So the idea here is you're not trying to create a masterpiece. You're just having fun and getting your miles in the pencil. Looks like it's turning into a floral headdress today. <laughs> You never know what is going to come out. And uh, maybe it's going to come all the way down here as well. Who knows? I have no idea what's going to come out of my pen today. It's kind of strange what happens when you get into creative mode. That's the idea is just to make it so fun and easy that you don't really worry too much about any pressure of any outcome. Um, I'll, I'll keep going with this as well. Make some different sort of shapes in here in this lovely big headdress. And maybe it's going to come all the way over here too. Why not? Just really loose pen marks. But um, So that's the sort of fun you can have as a beginner. You can just kind of almost fill in little, maybe there's little bits of jewellery and stuff. And you can just do some doodling in here and pretend there's little fancy bits of jewellery coming in here. And do some little Zentangle type of things in here just little doodle patterns wherever you feel like um, if you're a more advanced artist you might decide to um, make this a little bit more realist so even though we're working with a pen because that's the idea with inktober uh, we can do some shading in under here and give it a bit more 3d effect so a little bit of shading under her neck here um, around the nose, you know, you can just go um, a little bit more realism and think about how um, face shapes are and where the, sorry, am I off camera again with my drawing? I'm so naughty. So just get some shading going in here and then it sort of becomes a little bit more of a 3D form 
So if you're an advanced artist, you can have a bit of a practice with your cross hatching if you want to, and just get some of those darks in there and even around the eyes, you know, do a bit of shading on the eyebrows. So that's why I've, I've made this sheet so that these lines are quite pale. So you can go over the top and just change them as much as you want. So I want to give her nice dark eye sockets, like there's eye shadow in under there. So this is just giving you some ideas of what you might do and I'm sure you're going to come up with something completely and utterly different from what I've done, which is wonderful. So I can give her some darker eyes. And I might just form these lips a bit more with some dark. Maybe you want to just do some solid colouring in here and there. So that you really get the, these shapes quite clean. But that's completely up to you. So whatever you want to do with this doodle sheet, I can't wait to see what people do. Everyone's going to do something completely and utterly different, which is wonderful. That's the whole idea. Um, this is starting to get a little bit more 3D form now. So that's the sort of idea anyway. Change the direction of the cross hatching to go darker and darker. So where you need those darks to go in. But I want everyone to keep sharing it in the Doodlebug Facebook group so that we can see what everyone else is doing and be inspired what everyone else has done so I'm going to keep having fun doodling here and don't forget you can also um, up here number do a decorative number this is a really good actually good way to start to start up off up here by um, just doing a decorative number two for today's doodlebug inspired by Inktober and do whatever sort of patterns you want to do to decorate this. It's a really good way to warm up before you get into the main bit of fun on the main part of the page. So you have some fun with decorating just a, a number for the page. And once you assemble all your pages and keep them in a folder or whatever you're going to do, I like doing little decorations around the edges as well. Every day I love doing a totally different border around there. Um, so once you assemble all this into um, whatever folder or um, display book that you're uh, going to store all your beautiful sheets in to look back on and be inspired later, then you can see each of the numbers really clearly in the corner there. So that's, the, um, that's my start. I hope you managed to see some of that on the camera. But I'll share that in the Doodlebug group straight away, the original page, so that you can have fun with that. Don't do anything like mine. Do, do your own wonderful, magical, incredibly inventive, creative thing. You don't have to make it complicated. You don't have to be all serious about getting shading like this. This is for more advanced artists. You can just leave the outline as it is. But just do doodling and have some fun and create whatever mess you want around here. She might have earrings. She might have a dress on. Um, whatever you like. So have fun with that. Thanks for watching.